so in this video uh, we will discuss uh, how to add a plugin which is able to give good performance to a website cache html minima minify css javascript minify this kind of so before uh, do this step i want you to make a uh, backup uh, of your website so this is a kind of risky part so we always need to make a backup and if you want to know how to make a backup for your website just uh, go through my uh, have a look on summary and you can see the my another video how to use this plugin so let's get started so I'm considering now that you already have backup you already took your backup of this website this is like fresh website nothing is there so performance is definitely good nothing is there so if I check the performance on Google speed test performance is good because nothing is there if you added like lots of pages and lots of images the chatbot lots of JavaScript so performance will decrease accordingly so right now performance is average like for web it should be like minimum 70% for desktop if you don't have 70% so Google will not rank you properly so page will load like full speed so we need to improve this one let's get started so for that I will just go to popular and scroll down This is also a good plugin this is also a good plugin and we will use this plugin for this video our next videos we will discuss definitely lightspeed cache this one this one so for this one i will use auto optimize so our performance is 57 this is already good for performance I have already installed another plugin Lightspeed Cache so I'm just deactivate this with this one for now. Deactivate light speed cache and I will clear the cushy cache and cookies. And here you I can clean delete cache. So let's check the performance now. This will take a lot of time because I need to check every time. So now you can see mobile is 64 and desktop is 82 which is good. Let's, let's start with now auto optimize. I will just click on the settings under auto optimize. Open on next step. So here you can see the minify part. So I will just simple simply click on first, second, and this one, and this is enough, I think. 
so I will save this one and empty the cache just remember your keyword uh, steps and check every time once you click over there so there are so many clicks are there so I haven't apply on I just click on three buttons one two and three and I will check this one it is working or not then I will move forward so I will clear in the cache one more time and refresh my site also I will do this one our desktop part was like 82 last time so this is working perfectly nothing is there and uh, now it's showing mobile is 85 which is very good and 97 on our this so this is super fast it's 95 right now and i don't think so we need to move another settings but but i will show you more so there is one more there images if you added uh, lots of images on your site you can also optimize so i will use optimize image and lossy also lazy lord this one and just save this one this will not affect because i haven't added any images so let me clear cache again once more time and refresh this one and mobile is 85 let's do once again Uh, you can see that uh, now mobile is 91 and desktop is 97 so this increase the mobile performance and which is very good and we can say like Google don't have this kind of performance you could check Google There are some more functionality, but we will discuss once the site is built a little bit extra. So I have never, I haven't added any images and content. So right now this is enough for us. So you can see the Google performance is 81 and 99, still better than me. But mobile part, I win. without any content we can say that so on the next video we will discuss uh, how to install CDN and how to speed up our website more you can uh, change this one on more more but to make sure you back up your website accordingly and check every time what you have did and then then apply hope you enjoyed the video thank you